Number three, we'll see how these two teams play return. in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Slings it. He's pushed out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. It up. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. The offense is lucky to retain possession after that fumble. The coach can't be happy with the way the running back is carrying the football. Tackle around the 29-yard line. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. down at the 32. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made the 20-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. They try him again, and this time they've got him in the backfield. Zips it to the back, and he's tackled around the 12-yard line. And here's another third down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Fourth down. North Texas is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. TCU's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. From their own 38 yard line. First down. The ball is loose. It's picked up by the quarterback. Gains his way to the 49 yard line. Hit before he could go anywhere. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's at the 30. He gets out to about the 21 yard line. That's a gain of 20 on the play. First down.
finds the mic. Hand off to the right. Makes it out to about the 10. Gaining 11 yards. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Goes to the tight end and knocked away. That was what I'd call a power play in pass defense. He made solid contact and forced the incompletion. And he just gets rid of it. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws it, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. TCU can tie it up here with this kick. He gets it up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He makes his way out to about the 35. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. They give to the tailback. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. yard line the screen pass goes nowhere well you got to take your hat off to the defense all week they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field and they really shut him down that time from their own 37 yard line third down and they got him I mean, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. They'll get him for a loss. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. It's second and 12. Ball on the 38-yard line. We played one quarter. And this one's knotted up at three. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. to midfield. And he's going to lose big yardage. 
He's tackled immediately after the catch. They lose four there. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And this one is a beauty. He makes it to the 25-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Into that quick one. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Black and five. Easy, easy, easy. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. flushed and they got it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And that'll be three and out. Oh, excellent punt. What a collision. He showed a good burst there. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Ready. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 39. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. is the Mike. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. back and they make the stop at the 27 yard line from the 27 yard line first down tackle for a loss by the time the running back here got the football he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks Really, is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Let's go! And he's going to come up with a sack. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Mike 35, Mike 35. Winning! <laughs> Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Number 85 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. TCU could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good! And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 22-yard line. Goes out of bounds at the 34. That's good to have you to the bounds. That'll make it 31. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. You ain't going nowhere. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Let's go. Let's go. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's stopped behind the line. Number 19 takes him down behind the line. But the 48-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. He scrambled. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. at the 32-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. North Texas is going to have to use their second time out of the half. He's scrambling. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it second and ten. Scrambling around. And he's tackled in the open field. He's on the run. Good tackle there in space. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. North Texas is looking to tie things up. The kick is up, and he nails the long field goal. We played a half of football. 6-6 Six -six ball game. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, 
get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, guys, welcome back. Second half just about set to start, and we're dead even. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Brought down around the 41-yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 41. Mike 35, Mike 35. He's at midfield. And he's tackled at about the 43 yard line. That's a game of 16. First down. He might have a chance. The 10. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. And he hits the PAT. It was a quick three-play, 75-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So our score, 13-6. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 27. after a decent run up the gut. Forward to about the 46. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Right, 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 right. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Let's go. Come on. Now he tries to buy some time. Got the corner. Tackle made around the 47 yard line. Third down again. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled at the 41. Second 
Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. This is the ninth play of this drive. Four down, four down. Here we go. Three, five. And he's hit immediately. Fires out to his receiver. So it's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks up, and he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. North Texas is not going to back down from anybody, Herbie, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They've played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. TCU is up four. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's a team. That makes it so it's second down and about two yards to go. He gets to about the 41 yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Now he's scrambling. He's at midfield, and he is drilled at the 47. Gaining 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Fires it out, and he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. That makes it second and 10. now and they need to get it down to the 37. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 41 yard line. That's a game of five on the board. Fourth down. TCU is up by four. He gets it up and it's long enough and he got it. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. North Texas looking on offense right now, Kirk. A whole different story from the first half. Yeah, I think they've made a few tweaks to their game plan, and I think it's helped them out. The quarterback seems to be making better decisions, and right now they can't be stopped. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. A great tackle at the 20. Makes the sack. Lost the on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 20 yard line. Second down. Got it and brought down immediately. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. The Horned Frogs with a touchdown lead. Hey, 
into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Well, they've got the lead, and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's to the 40. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Four yards have been tough to come by for both these teams. But it's been ugly to watch. The only thing you can really say is at least it's competitive still in the fourth quarter. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. TCU up seven points. Gains his way to midfield. That brings up second and It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Decent game there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Ready! Here's a handoff up the middle, and no room to run. It's second and ten. Ball on the 45. to the running back, and he gets nowhere. And he's going to be sacked. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. For TCU, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. Well, they are running it pretty well, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. You take the yards however you can get them. Here's another important series as they look to keep them off the board and maintain their slim margin. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under three to go in regulation. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So the sack makes this a second and long. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Let's go. Red 18! And he tackles him hard at the six. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long.
And a quick throw. And they make the stop right around the 36 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 36 yard line. The other way, incomplete. The ball was underthrown. It was a good read. He just needs to find his rhythm back there and step and throw the football. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. Third and long here. And for the defense, if they get a stop, they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away. Just under two to go in the game. He wants it all. Can't pull it in. Number one, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Five, three, six. Five, three, six. You can't block me. You can't block me. He's under pressure. They'll make the sack, and they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Makes it to the 21. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Inside the 10. He's taken down at the five-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. North Texas will use their final timeout. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. They're packed in tight on the line. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. If they can get it in here, it'd make it a two-score game. It's third and goal. The play yeah. clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. Under a minute left in the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Well, now you've got to be thinking end zone on every play. You just don't have the time to do anything else. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. 
and that just might do it. Intercepted. Well, that interception is going to seal the fate in this one. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Takes a knee. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 23-9, Horn Frog. And the North Texas Eagles. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.